This is it, Sly. The gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can take that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. I'm pumped. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I die, I die. All right, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. Requesting door via Agent Monarch. Over. Launching. Stand clear. I've got visual confirmation on the door. Nice shooting. Be advised, Paul is nearing the lab. Agent Team 6, you ready? Spear gun loaded. Agent Team Six, deploy. First is down. Every time. She looks so funny like that. How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh, very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Man, your son, uh, what's his name, uh, Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too, yeah? Shame you won't be seeing them again. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die any second now. Oh. 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 Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richards got sloppy. The Cooper vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot hall. Over.
must be Sly Cooper, the new keeper of the cane. Oh, how I've longed for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes the key to the vault. Hand over that cane. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. The Cooper treasure is mine. It's mine. Jump for it. We gotta get out. Here we go. You can't throw a bomb. It was like they always say your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. Fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, 
it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. If we're going to make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Okay. All great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I projected. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. I've programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing here is that if you don't have line of sight, the waypoint will automatically perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. All right, Bentley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. I like how the little tassels at the end of his mask stick up. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. One down. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Turner that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. 
Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the Dream Time from an Aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray.
Eight coins. What do you do? Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come around here. Okay, Didn't right? You? Long time no punch. See, you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Bolivia! Wait! Rat me out to those cops and I'll get thrown in there with you. It'll be a heck of a cage match, and we both know who will win. Or did you forget Paris? <sighs> Worth it to see your smug face behind the bars. Where's that generous nature you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man. Big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I can throw the beat on this track. You're just a dancer. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open. But the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief! Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms. We'll suit up and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man. I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. Look, I got in here through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy my macho frame. I'm packing too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you stick dudes. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, okay. police. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. 
As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get out there and keep your eyes open. I've hired you mercenaries over traditional costs because this is a dangerous assignment. The neighborhood is filled with the Octavio goons. It's a war out there. Get tough, or you won't last five minutes. You hear me? I'm paying for results. The city of Venice needs this situation resolved now. Okay, I know you boys like things redundant, so I'm going to give you the presentation again. This time, pay attention. You're not getting paid to nap. Just let me get my note cards back in order. Shoot, just look down. We're now ready for the presentation. Canals of Venice. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. Let there be light. I love the commentary of these guys. Make up your mind already. You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Brother, on, off, on, off. Oh, come on. I can see, da! I can see! <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself, Leon. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear, you spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. <laughs> Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. You slowly go. rotate the left. I'll do like I promised, and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge. Big Italian landmark. Okay. Guess it's showtime. He just loves doing this to him. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper! Grab him, man! And I'm out. You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? 
What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Look at you. You got nowhere left to run, Cooper. Right at the end, she got me. Greetings, old Inspector Fox. Man, you're in it again. Hope that manhole works both ways. That's right. Hide in the sewers like the rat you are. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear, like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru and his wisdom told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on, I'm on a real spirit quest here. Sorry, sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? <laughs> to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected, as non-law operatives will be able to tackle this situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's Opera House. If he's hiding anything, we'll find it. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. I just love pipes. Is that okay? Sure, they're a thief's best friend, but don't forget wall hooks. How could I forget the lovable wall hook? Press the circle button to attach. Of course. To launch off them, you'll have to pull down on the left analog stick before jumping. Try getting over this wall. 
That's it, I kill. You've made it through all my challenges. Hey, don't feel bad. Those wall looks were kind of tricky. It was all supposed to be tricky. Anyhow, you've proven you know how to get around. A word to the wise. Anywhere you sense a thieving opportunity, you know, see the blue sparkles, you can use a circle button move. Pretty handy. Yes. Yes, it is. All right, Bentley. Let me have it. In order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we'll always need to have a little cash on hand. I hear you. Most guards are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their pockets by sneaking up behind them and pressing the circle button. This guy looks like he's carrying some loot. If I steal it, you can fence the goods online for some cash. That's right. Look for a glow in a guard's back pocket. Sure sign of something valuable. Try picking his pocket dry without getting noticed. Okay, that's enough of that guy. It won't always be that easy. Guards are usually on the move. As long as I don't bump into him, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, smooth talker. Try robbing this guy. successful as the getaway that's planned. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Thought so. Look, there's no shame in running from a fight. Keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm going to have this guard attack you, and you'll have to run away to lose him. Well, hold up. Ready, set, go. Where'd he go? Nice escape, Sly. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Sprint by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds, and then try to escape from the guards if they hear you. Come on. Ready, set, go. How about you stop setting these guards up to kill me? You could always take them out instead. Now we're talking. If a guard hasn't seen you, you could sneak up behind them. You paying attention? This is complicated. Of course. We're talking about taking out guards. Right. Sneak up behind them and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Sneak attack. Nice. So that's the triangle button to knock him into the air, then the square button for the slam. You got it. Now give this guy the business. Unfortunately, the slam makes noise. Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you. It's easy. You take out the first guy, then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike. Try taking out both these guards without being caught. Nice work. I pity the guard that crosses your path. Now for the showstopper. 
see that boat slog up above that poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah. Feel like dropping it on his head? Oh, yeah. This button will release the boat. Make sure the guard's under its shadow before you, you know, knock him senseless. Look for those buttons around town. The place is littered with unsafe machinery. Know what I mean? Reconnaissance photographs to plan for a heist. Ah, uh, the humble recon photo. The unsung hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your monocucop with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where you want to look, and the right analog stick lets you zoom in and out. So easy. Why, thank you. Try to get a good picture of that chair suspended from the ceiling. You might have to zoom in a little. Press the R1 button to take the shot. Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. Your targets can also be moving. Makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. There you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? No, but you've shown some real skill with a Badakukov's camera. Nice work. All right, Bentley. Things can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button, and out comes the goods. OK, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Against mm -hmm. sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god. All fall before me. Let's see what you got. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep, too. My chair's been outfitted with a top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my binocucom. Smart. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. And to shoot, I press the R1 button. Have you got a zoom function on that thing? Nice. Now get over there and bomb it before he wakes up. All right, Bentley make this look easy, but how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything! That chair's pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh yeah, it's my own design. The pickpocket pole, or the PPP for short. A fishing pole with a magnet? Ingenious, huh? By default, it's linked to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot. Sounds just like fishing. 
Try it on this guy right here. Okay, he served his purpose. I'm impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. as a wonder. You've packed so much technology into such a small space. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. up, Sly. I've intercepted a radio message from one of Octavio's men. The Don is moving towards your position. Great. You want me to take him? No. We need evidence that he's behind this city's tar epidemic. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help the cops prosecute him and put an end to this nonsense. Never thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. Yeah, well, she's different. Your average law enforcer isn't that, I don't know, attractive? Hold up, here he comes. That's despicable. Get a picture for fit before dishes. This is perfect. Use your binocular to take photos. Excellent! A few more of these and the cops will bury this guy. Follow him. He might be headed for some more polluting. He's at it again. Get a picture. 
That poor bird bath. I guess more of a bird death trap now. He's on the move again. Keep it up, Sly. This is some great work. I got a sorrow, huh? You stink! Back in my day, thieves knew how not to get a caught. He's on the move again. Keep it up, Sly. This is some great work. I got a sorrow, huh? You stink! Back in my day, thieves knew how not to get a caught. He's on the move again. Keep it up, Sly. This is some great work. Imagine clogging a delightful water wheel with deadly sticky tar! Monstrous! Keep on it! We want to make sure all this horrible pull. I got a sorrow, huh? You stink! Back in my day, thieves knew how not to get a caught. Keep on it. We want to make sure all this horrible polluting is fully documented.
do re mi fa sol la ti do do ta la so fa mi re do he seems to be working a switch but there's no tar anywhere yet get a photo anyway He seems to be working a switch, but there's no tar anywhere yet. Get a photo anyway. He's doing something, but what? Hey, Samir, get that engineer on the horn. Sly, see if you can latch on to the car Octavio is riding in. We should eavesdrop on his phone conversation. From the look on his face, it seems important. Listen, Giovanni. This Ferris wheel was a good idea. She's a pump on the tar fast, and nobody, but nobody suspects a thing. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Well, uh, when the people come to see me sing, I wanna make a show they keep a coming. Even if they don't feel like it. One way or the other, there be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, see you soon. That fiend! He's twisted a time-honored amusement park ride into a tool for wrongdoing. Break open the control panel with your cane. I'm on my way to do a little rewiring. Look away if you must. You're about to witness the dark side of electrical engineering. Kill a bunch of poor innocent fish, will he? That'll do it. Octavio's base of operation. Nice place. Sure to be a few coins laying around in there. What's the plan? If you could get me inside to one of Octavio's computers, I should be able to hack his firewall and get the dirt on his operation. Okay. Have you got a point of entry? I'm guessing the front door's not the safest option. That wooden hatch appears to be an ideal way to slip in undetected. Head down there and we'll meet up in a few minutes. Octavio is known to rely on 3D technology to secure his property. In order to see the security measures, we'll need to utilize these depth optimizer goggles. Functional and fashionable. Nice touch, Bentley.
To open this door, we'll need to press the 3D security buttons at exactly the same time. Okay? On my three. One, two, three. On three. One, two, three. One more try. One, two, three. Nice. Octavio is fond of this 3D synchronized security system. Let's do it. One. Two. Three. Let's make another attempt. One. Two. Three. Ready? One. Two. Three. All right. Drat! My booster won't be enough to make it to that next door. I've made a number of improvements to my wheelchair, but none that can float me through this canal. Don't worry about it, pal. I'm sure I'll find a way across. And there seem to be plenty of boats hanging around to make a nice bridge for you. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. Octavio here. I'm pleased to report that the task suction levels are at all a time high. However, it saddens me to report that some of you haven't been keeping in time with the orchestra. You know what I mean. I'd like to see Marco, Raphael, and Julius in the main vacuum room immediately. We are gonna discuss your retirement package. And if any of you got these boys, make a run for it. Well, shoot them in the back. That door ahead of you is reinforced. We'll need to bomb our way through it. Thanks for the assist, Sly. Maybe I can return the favor with some well-placed explosives. Okay, stand back. Thanks, pal. This door is made of four-inch thick bulletproof plexiglass. My bombs won't make a dent. See if you can find a way around it through that ventilation shaft. Well, nice of you two to stop by for a little family advice. Julius remains the the curtain. Now, normally I'd whack a bomb. Yes. 
But it's a carnival, and I'm feeling charitable. So I think of something else. Okay, here's the deal. You two stoolies are gonna be in my new eyes and ears. I can't let no one get near my demolition switch or sabotage any part of the operation down here. If you hear any noise from inside of the family that someone's uh, not content, then you tell me straight out. I can't be taking no chances this close to a short time. Got it. Judging from the security, we must be getting close. It's live! Synchronize watches and one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. We're in. Yes, a Warlitzer 700. I can splice into this easy. Just as long as you're enjoying yourself, that's the important thing. Aside from a few tense moments, that break-in seemed to go pretty well. It's not over yet. Hack the system and let's get out of here. Oh, it'll be a snap extracting the details on Octavio's operation from this old dinosaur. Wh what? A delay switch? Sorry, Sly. Guess the dinosaur has teeth. I'll hack as fast as I can. Watch my back. There are sure to be guards on the way. Intruders! Intruders! So close! 
Download complete. Now we can find out exactly what Octavio is up to. Hey Sly, you better get over here. My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hotwired by the time I get there. Let's see, just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazam! Just in time, there go the vipers. I'll shoot, you drive, Sly. This canal is packed with shipping. Make sure to jump and leave or we're sunk. Let's take these guys. Sorry, Sly, my gun overheated. Guess I should use short burst. Way to go! That's the end of the Blue Vipers.
Another uneventful patrol. This city is beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That, and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look, I'll stash this boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. Encrypted files, Octavio is pumping tar from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincennetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. Given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking you to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs. Slime, what's up with your eyes? He looks like he's high. Well, that fixed it. Octavio keeps the blueprints to his main tar pumping station in three parts. Each is cleverly hidden behind a painting inside one of his legit coffee houses. Not very subtle, posting a full-time guard in front of a coffee house. Since we destroyed his Ferris wheel, he's gone all out on the security. In fact, he's got all his guards checking up on each other. If we're going to get inside and at the blueprints, we can't raise any suspicion. I'm with you. I'll approach the guard while in disguise and pretend to take the next shift. When the coast is clear, you head inside and swipe the blueprints. With me standing out front, no one will know that something's up. Your disguise could be a sign as a power When hailed by guards, make sure to memorize their passwords and say them back in a timely fashion. Take too long or mess it up, and he'll know you're a phony. Halt! Tell me the daytime password. Easy one. Here you go. Alto, alto. Base, base. Okay. Okay. I guess you're the relief shift. Uh, thanks for coming early. I got a big plans for tonight. Carnival. Uh, good times, eh? 
I can't believe that worked. You've got the worst Italian accent I've ever heard. No offense. Head inside and grab the blueprints. No telling how long till another patrol comes by. I've ever seen with wall-to-wall -wall laser security. Octavio really is old school if he's using a painting safe. My father used to crack these all the time. The trick here is finding the safe's combination hidden somewhere in the artwork. Might take some searching, but it's sure to be there. Just keep at it. Strong work. We're still clear up front. I'll meet you at the next coffee shop. Once you take the guard's post, I'll move in. Second verse, same as the first. Halt! Vacuum room password. Uh, yep, here it is. Soprano, soprano, bass, bass. Okay. Oh, am I glad you're here. Mama's making spaghetti tonight and I'm starving. I'm gonna eat like three, no, four plates of food. I guess that you really like a cooking. Mamma mia, I want to be buried in her sauce. It's a hell. Mom's lasagna. Any problems with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah. That's, uh... That's strange. My little grin. You know, I just can't get it out of my head. Have you ever had pasta sauce that tasty? 
I don't want to distract you or anything, but I just don't think I've ever had cooking that good. Are we like missing out on a whole universe of flavors here? Pasta sauce that tasty? I don't want to distract you or anything, but I just don't think I've ever had cooking that good. Are we like missing out on a whole universe of flavors here? Two out of three. Almost there, partner. You know, maybe there's a good Italian restaurant around here. Enough with the sauce! Keep your focus, we're on a job here! Thugs everywhere, death around every corner! You're right, we got one more coffee house to hit, then we're done. Yes, now you're talking sense! And then, we eat. Password. As I expected. Here you go. 
Alto, alto, bass, bass. Yep. Yeah, you know the code, uh, but what's uh, my nickname? <laughs> There's only one uh, Tony B on the payroll, and I'm famous in the family. I'm a new, uh, just got called in from Roma. They know me in Rome. I'm practically the mayor of organized crime in Rome. You telling me you never heard my nickname there? Uh, my cell phones are going off. I should take this call. It could be the boss. Yeah, okay. Talk to some of the other guards in the area and see if any of them know Tony B's nickname. <laughs> you there! What's Octavio's house password? Uploading you the password. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano? Sorry about that. Okay, you're legit. Hey, you know Tony B's nickname? Tony B? That cannoli, he's a, what's it called, a egomaniac. I don't know nothing about him. Don't want to know. Halt! Ferris wheel password, quickly! Sending password now! Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Okay! Yep, that's the password. Sometimes I forget them, you know. You and me are both, pal. Hey, uh, you know what the Tony B's nickname is? <laughs> yeah, that fathead likes to call himself Tony the Killer B. What an idiot. I couldn't agree more. Nice job to think of getting names. You're really fitting in with these mobsters, Sly. Maybe you should switch teams. Get an apartment with the Killer B. Hello again, nice sir. You there! Give me the cafe password. Here's the password slide. Bass, 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 soprano? Uh, sorry about that. So, Big Shot, what's my nickname? Oh, come on. Everyone's heard of Tony the Killer B. You're the terror of every player ground from here to Sicily. Ha, ha, ha. Real funny. Least I'm not on guard duty during carnival. Who's got the last laugh now, tough guy? <laughs> Me, that's who. Don't take too long. If that guy comes back to chat, I'm out of here. Bentley. It always takes me like 20 minutes to figure those things out. You're just flying through them. Thank you. 
skill with this art decryption Bentley it always takes me like 20 minutes to figure those things out you're just flying through them We need to hide out back in the safe house. That alarm is attracting all kinds of guards. Agreed. We've got the blueprints to the tar vacuum. Our work here is done. Let's go, Bentley. Safety of the safe house.
Okay.